November, 11th month of the year. One more month. And then we celebrate a new year, 2013. <laughs> Serious thing, you know them say, 21st of December is our next prediction again about how Earth will change up and we probably end. So those who was doing wrong, just go and do your wrong. Those who do the right, go and do your right, you know, because you might have a limited time here. <laughs> Yes, a limited time. We see the president of America team up with the people in Israel and totally devastating Gaza. We see the Hamas man them dropping some bombs over there in, in Israel. One nearly leaked down Jerusalem there. But it's amazing. It's amazing. Because Obama wait till as the election done so fe send out the command. Cause it's not just Israel alone involved. It's Israel and America. Because Obama swear allegiance to Israel. Israel is the biggest um, AIDS recipient from America. Uh, the Jews them run America. Obama is just there to show away a face. But it's a terrible thing I go on. See, today them say them have a ceasefire. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, them, them people are not easy. You know? Them leaders of this world uh, is not easy. The man, them a war, you know, and a drop bomb on one another, you know. And at two o'clock, them just stop, drop the bomb. And now them are going to talk. But you know what, the talking now going to help, you know, because Hamas, all of the, the people, them inside of uh, what we call Palestinian land, them now going to really just take the thing so, because Israel. I expand it, it, it what you call the land base in other people them land. And nobody wants to talk about how the occupation of the Palestinian land is what causing the Palestinians them to react that way. You see, when I say why right now, the, 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 the Palestinians they might do this and I do that against the Israeli them, but who is the first aggressor? Who who start to aggress the aggression? That is really where we must look on, really. You know, see, and it's the occupation of land given to a group of people by the British that is causing this years, 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 years of war and devastation that is taking place that might spill over to other countries too. So meanwhile, I'm looking on Palestine and Israel. Nobody remember that there's a Syrian thing that is taking place over the next side. <laughs> and all of this is taking place right in a day. The same vicinity of each other, you know. The same vicinity, vicinity of each other. Syria over there, so over here you now that the thing are fight and them can't get out the brother. Then now we see it spill over in a Turkey. Then now we look at Iraq. And we see Iraq now still a struggle. You know, them broke the, 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 the glass and them never made it. So, it, they, they broke up, mash up more. So, there's not a stable government in Iraq, even though them claim say them leave Iraq. There's not a stable government there. Then there's Afghanistan. And now, we see, again, because this is a continuous war that is taking place between the Palestinians and the Israeli them, and the Americans. Because it's two against one, you know. The two biggest powers, them, well, not two biggest powers, but the biggest power and its ally is really creating devastation among some people that have a blockade against them with them, can't even left them country. It's a serious thing. That's like the Akinson and a man say, boy, right now, I'm going to block you in from St. Thomas, I'm going to block you in from St. Andrew. And he's going to block in from St. Catherine. 
And they're going to block all the seaport them that you can't leave. And that are going for years. Years that are going. So, it's not an easy thing. And people always look upon it like, say, the Israelis is the Israelites of the Bible. So, you have a lot of preachers who preach in the name of Israel. And refer to God's chosen people. A serious God that God make a whole heap of people upon the earth. And then him choose a set of people as him chosen people. <laughs> you know, it's the weirdest thing because when you read a, a, a Numbers 6. I'm sorry, Genesis. A Genesis 6. Something about this all. It said, the sons of God, capital G-O-D, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fear and took unto themselves wives. And in that day, a giant came upon the land. Now, God, which is the capital G-O-D, the sons of God, sons of God, that means that God did have woolly of sons in them time there. Look down upon the earth and look upon the woman them and say, the daughters of men look good, man. Yes. So, make we imagine some mythological people and look down through the clouds because this is where them all show me all the while. They might talk about God and the angels. You see the angels, they might look down through the clouds. So, make we imagine, in a way, illusion and deluded, demented mind <laughs> that these sons of gods looking through the cloud and looking down upon the daughters of men. The daughters of men now, I don't know is who make them. But God's sons up there look down and see that the daughters of men were looking very fine. So them come through the cloud and take up the people, them woman, the, the, the men, them women, and became... Husbands. And then the story. You have a next story now which complicates the whole Palestinian and Israeli concept. Where them use that part of the Bible to show that the land now that is occupied by the Israelis. Because the Bible never tell about no Israelis, you know, tell about the Israelites. But they have adopted what they call Judaism as their own. The Israelis. They have adopted Judaism as their own. And because they have adopted Judaism as their own, they put themselves in history. This is weird. They put themselves in a history 4,000 years ago. So you hear the trap now. You hear the trap no. because when they bring this history to you, you know, and you talk about past you now in a church where we preach this history for sure, you say, boy, well, right now, a God word, a fulfill where the Israelites must reclaim them land because they are the chosen ones. So you hear them all show you now. They all show you a place in the Bible where they say, Isaac, the son of Abraham, Maybe you know the story, but I could say it again because this is a key element of what is going on in the so-called Middle East and Africa. Africa it go on, you know, they call it Middle East, but Africa it go on. The land where them call Israel is in Africa. And Israel really is the name of a person, not the place of a name of a land. But I could say, as to them I call it, but Israel is in Africa. It's not East Africa. It's not the Middle East. So, there was a man named Abraham. And he have a wife named Sarah. He have a sister. He married to him sister. And him, him wife couldn't have no picnic. And to him wife couldn't have no picnic now. His wife being a very liberal woman... 
tell her husband, say, go, go sleep with the maid. The maid was an Egyptian woman. So the maid, in the house, I wash the dish there, man, I cook the food and thing, and maybe a long time, Abraham, I look upon her too, but I'm afraid because him wife, with a, him don't know him wife, I think, but the wife, him go realize, but wait, the wife, I think, nice, because she can't have no picnic. So she decides, say, well, all right, now, here one, now, Abraham. Do it, but no make me see it. <laughs> Just do it, though, because you see it, if it continue. And, you know, uh, history, write it down as a person, we never have no generations out of your body. And I can't give you the picnic, them. So here we know, in order to perpetuate your seed, that you have a continuous lineage. Sleep with the Egyptian woman and bring a picnic. So he must sleep with the Egyptian woman and the Egyptian woman get pregnant. But meanwhile, the Egyptian woman get pregnant now. He go try a last lick with his wife. And at 90 years old, she get pregnant. <laughs> At that create complication in the house now because the same woman who tell and this is written in the Bible, you know. This is where I talk what is written in the Bible, but why I am talking this story is to connect it now with what is going on now because this is something that has been brought up in the United Nations by these people. Alright. There's a connection here that they are now saying why the land is theirs. Okay, so the story continues now where after the Sarah, which is the name of the wife, and the, the maid named Hagar, which is an Egyptian woman, the two of them get pregnant. So the wife has said, Well, if me get pregnant, me can't allow the Egyptian maid woman. To go inherit all our Abraham have. No, 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 no. And my son have to inherit it. So right away now she have played the, the, bitchy, the bitchy wife now. A bitchy wife you know, because she allowed the man to go have sex with the woman, you know. But because now she go get pregnant now, she now I go look upon the wife, the, 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 the but because now she go get pregnant now, she now I go look upon the wife, the 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 Egyptian woman picnic and I said, no no no, outcast, bastard picnic, can not inherit certain things. So she run out the woman out of the house. Now according to the story, this woman named Hagar took her son named Ishmael, Ishmael. And Ishmael, the son of the maid servant of Abraham, and his mother was in the wilderness. And out of that lineage come twelve tribes of Ishmael. Now, flashback now to the the, the son. That is now of the so-called legitimate wife, lawful wife, which is Isaac. Isaac supposed to inherit where Abraham have because he's the wife. Legitimate picnic. The other one is a bastard picnic according to how certain things go. You know, Michael Manley come and reverse that in a Jamaica. When him come say, no, the pers- the picnic outside of the marriage must have the same authority as the picnic inside of the marriage. Or else the whole of we get naked, you know. <laughs> because most Jamaican picnic born outside, what them call it, out of wedlock. Yes, out of any wedding go on, we lock you in. So, the wife of this picnic named Isaac, Legitimate picnic according to how the story go. And Isaac have two sons. One named Esau and one named Jacob. 
And according to the story, remember, say we are linked the story to go on in other places, you know, you know. This is not no nowadays thing we are work with, you know. We are we are dealing with all the people them deviously connect it. We are going right now on the occupation of this land. All them connect it. For sure them that them legitimately supposed to have the land. Okay, so Isaac growing old him start kinda get him eyes kinda get dimish like him can't hardly see. Jacob the younger son, Esau, the older son. Now, according to the tradition, where the Bible tells you about, is the elder son must get the blessing. The blessing me now say, I'm going to call him son and tell him, say, boy, right now, you see, all the land over there, so, is your own, do what you want, do with it. You see, the goat, the man, the cow, they tie up over there, so, a your own do what you want to do it. If you want to share it with your brother, you're free to do it. If you don't want to share it with them, you're free enough to do it. So, a you run the thing. So, is Esau supposed to get all of this thing? Because Esau are the older one. But the Muma did prefer the younger son, which was Jacob, the younger son. So, when time come now, fe, the blessing come now, Isa, Isaac, I go call up him elder son now, Isa, forget the blessing. But what I'm now is that Isa was a youth where a wool heap of ear upon him skin. You can go back and read it in the Bible if you want, you know. We are tell it how it go, I saw it go. Maybe when I used to see him do and D and D, but I saw, the, I saw the word go. So the, 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 the story go. Esau have a ear skin. Jacob was a smooth skin kind of guy. But the mother did prefer Jacob. But even though Esau did blind, sorry, even though Isaac did blind now, Isaac knew him older son by touching him son. So if him feel the sun and him feel the sun eerie, him say, oh, that one there are Isa. If him feel the other sun and the other sun smooth skin, him say, oh, that one there are Jacob. Now the mother knowing this, I go trick the father. Because a trick thing I go on here, so no, you know. And God I look down through the cloud, you know, and I sanction this thing here, you know. The biggest trick. God I sanction the trick now. You hear God I go do, you hear, you hear, you hear the woman I go do now. The woman will kill all them all now and wrap around the sun, the smooth sun skin, when named Jacob. I don't know where she use. I don't know where she use. Patex, Panada, Pana, Pudel, or whatsoever she use. I stick out the skin upon the youth now. When the time comes for the blessing now, she carry Jacob, who she wrap up with the skin. And the son, the, the, the father who I go blind now, him feel the son and him say, okay, he saw this. Which really a Jacob, he might touch, you know. But him feel say, he saw. So, he might touch his skin and he might bless Isa. He might bless Jacob with Isa blessing. So, there is a animosity that go take place now, you know, between Isa and Jacob. Now, if you look on the stories in the Bible, you know, from Cain and Abel to Isaac and Ishmael to Esau and Jacob, there was always some brother animosity at take place. Because God always has set up them people there to do them things there. You know. He always has set them up against one another. You know, see, because God set up Cain against Abel. God set up Isaac mother against against Isaac but against Ishmael mother and now God now as she say a trick we are going and him do him just love the trick for going so Jacob now get the blessing 
And the story go on and on and on and on where some Amanama city go on and Isa now start to link with the the, 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 the tribes of Ishmael and start friend the tribes of Ishmael. Now, according to these people, these tribes, these tribes were called Ishmaelites. It's the Arabs. This is what they must say to you now, you know. They must say, the, the Egyptian woman, Pikni, is the Arabs. Isa mix up with them and is the Arabs. Jacob start to know one day my travel and a good man come to him and say, Look, you know, watch out, you have to give me what you have, you know. And say, Boy, I'm not give you nothing. Come take it now. And the man goes up, boom, and start to fight him. And Jacob goes up, blow him, and wax him two times, and blow him, drop a gun. And Jacob overpower him, and I kill Jacob, go kill him now, you know. And him say, no, no, don't kill me, man. I, you know, say, I, 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 God sent me, you know. <laughs> I, God sent me for test, you know. As a matter of fact, I mean him, God. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a God manifestation that go ahead. So, no, and Jacob say, hey. And the man says, where, where you name? And, 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 and Jacob say, I mean him, Jacob, you know. So, the man go look at Jacob you now and say, well, you want to know. You see, as from today. You he may go call you Israel. Because you have struggled with the angel of the Lord and has overcome. So you have no longer named Jacob, but you name Israel. Ah, Israel. Okay. So now Israel is the man where we are dealing with now. So remember now, say, you have a set of people who then brandish name Ishmael, who are supposed to be the Arabs. And then now you have a next set of people now who mix with the Ar mix with the Ishmaelites named Esau. I e don't know what them call them Esauites or whatsoever they mix up. And then now you have this man you now named Jacob who now them call Israel. And out of Israel now, Israel have some woman and no picnic. Him have twelve sons and one daughter. And out of those 12 sons now, Jacob now, which is now called Israel, which is not a land them that talk about now, you know, is a man. Jacob now, I got realize that he also now get blind and he get sick and thing, he's so dead, he have high blood pressure and thing. Jacob now, I got say, Israel, I got call him son them now and say, gather and I shall tell you what shall befall you in the latter days. This story is written now in Genesis 49 where Israel is now going to bless his 12 sons and left out daughter. The daughter is of no significance to the thing, just like the church of England today will tell us why right now. Them not allow women for preach. Them not allow women for preach. I mean, them can allow women sexual, but them can allow women. So it's a weird thing. We live in a crazy, crazy mix up world. The church in England. No vote against women preaching in the church. But them don't. She said, but wait. Oh, the homosexual thing so legitimate. And the woman can't be legitimate. Because you can't have a homosexual priest preaching at the church, you know. And him do have to go in and class it. Him can't, him can't, be, him can't tell them same as a homosexual and still be able to preach in the church. But a woman cannot preach in the church. What kind of madness is that? And is the, is the woman bring the man who become a homosexual who can preach in the church? He may, have, he may have a different link with God and she now have no link with God because she's a woman. So Israel now bless him 12 sons them and out of the 12 sons come the 12 tribes of Israel. Out of Ishmael come 12 tribes. But the 12 tribes of Ishmael is not recorded in the book that we now call the Jewish Bible, which is the, so the Christians call it the Old Testament. But it's really the Hebrew Bible. In the Hebrew Bible, is Hebrews a right the story. So them negate, for tell you, the other side, which is the sons of 
the Egyptian woman. So you never hear nothing about the Ishmaelites because them is outcasts. Them get traced out. Now, this man when named Israel have 12 sons. And what happened now is that because them grandfather did occupy a land that was not theirs, that is, but was given to them by this, and next again, the God, God that looked down in that thing and said, if it's a land, we'll kill everybody upon it and take it away. Because that him tell Abraham, and that him tell Abraham seed, say, that land, flowing with milk and honey, shall be your land. No, it's really the land of the Canaanites, you know, but it's because the Canaanites, me not like them, just kill them off, rape them woman, take where you want, and just occupy them land. Because the, the reason why I'm do that too, flash back again to a story with with our next man named Noah. We have three sons, and Noah have three sons, Am Shem and Japheth. Apparently, one of the sons looked like him did gay. <laughs> because, because him seen father dear kid. And I carried to the Bible and covered him father dear kid deaths. I don't know. That sounds kind of weird to me. If God ever smite a whole nation because you don't see your father dear kid. And, and why them God man they always junk? Because it's junk. The man junk. I lay down naked. And him young son come in there come see him. Do whatsoever I want to do with him. And then the other brother them come in there and say catch them. And say wait this is what you do with daddy. And right away, you know, God no curse. This son, where go play with him father, you know, him curse the son of the son, which is the grandson of Noah, which is called Canaan, because Canaan is the son of Am. And him say, curse it shall be Canaan in the tents of Shem, him shall live and be a slave. That is how black people now become cursed. According to the Hebrew Bible, them do have it in the King James Bible. But if you're looking at the, the Talmud, you will see these things. Just like if you're looking at the Mormon Bible, you see them at talk about black skin is curse. So, go back to the story now where Israel become now the 12 tribes of Israel and the land. That Israel is going to occupy now is the land that God give them. This is like this is like Christopher Columbus coming to Jamaica and totally ignore the, occup the occupants of Jamaica, totally ignore the Tainos them. Them come like say nobody never there, and them come stick a flag in at the king and queen of Spain name and say this is the land. Given to them by God. Because these people are say God do this and God do that, you know. It's like now with the Christian name. Everything happens is God do it, God do it, God do it. You know, you're meeting an accident. Oh God, you know, thank you, Lord, Jesus, all these things. So when Christopher Columbus come here, him totally ignore the original occupants of the land and then start to kill them off. Well, the same thing now with these people who say, it's God give them this land, where this Canaanites land. It's not that people wasn't there, you know, the Canaanites was living there. But because the Canaanites was not of the same cultural expression or religious practice and belief like them, them kill off the Canaanites. And the Canaanites have to leave them land and take refuge in our other lands. And now this land, where it's called the Canaanite land, where God say. I shall give it to you and your generation. Occupy it. No. We're going to flash back to today. This land that is in dispute in the 21st century is the same land that the Jews write in their Bible, write in their Pentateuch. I hope I call the word right. Them writing of them Bible say, is God give them the land? And you can't question that. So you see, uno who in the land, and uno are the occupiers, which really and truly is the same thing Columbus, Columbus do when him come here. So. 
and him wipe out the Tainos them. And say, look ya, from we reach us all, that means that God did, de did design it that way. God decide with destiny. And our destiny lead us to Jamaica. And Uno there so Uno is Edens. Uno is this, Uno is that. Uno no Uno walk, run up and down naked. Uno no have no Uno no believe in a Jesus. Uno never hear about Jesus yet. We go kill Uno half and take the land in the name of the King and Queen of, Eng of, of Spain. And God is God send them here so. Read back all of the things them with them write when them come here so. Where, 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 Bartal, where them call it Bartholomew and all these guys will come into Jamaica and the Caribbean islands, them. All of them declare that it's God, it's the destiny of God that brought them here. And if it was a wrong thing, God wouldn't did send them here. So from God send them, from them come here, so it's God put them here, so. Well, it's the same thing, same reasoning. The, the so called Occupiers of the land that is now called Palestine, that was once called the land of Canaan, that even the Palestinians who call themselves for them land, it's still not for them land, it's the Canaanites' land. But now we cannot really identify the Canaanites because the Canaanites also did have to move south down even into southern Africa, remnants of the Canaanites exist. If you go into Zimbabwe, you will see remnants of these people who share the same identity and cultural expression like the people them who did own this land where them call Canaan. The land of the Canaanites is the land now called Israel or Palestine. Now, these people take up this book and place themselves in that historical reference point and declare that this land is ours. Even though, even though these people who occupy the land that is now called Israel, I call themselves Israelis, came from Russia and Germany and this land was given to them by the British in the 40s because they were running from persecution just like the people them the white people them who left the Isles of British Isles and run come into America because they were running from religious persecutions and when them enter into America call themselves the pilgrims and saw the original indigenous people in America. Them wipe out the people, them kill them and put them on some desert land and say, it's God put them there and it's God send them there. So. And them take the land by gambling. Can you imagine a group of people coming to a strange land, running from freedom land because them have some religious war going between Anglicans, Roman Catholics, Protestants and all these things, and them find refuge in our next man land. And even though them see people there, them ignore the people them like the people them not exist and decide to why right now, here we now, we want some land. So here we go we'll get the land now. Just like with them doing a St. Martin. <laughs> it's a serious thing. It's a race. Them run and divide up St. Martin, you know. It's a race. Them run and stick this apart. And me own this. So me own this. So me own this. So me own this. So this. So this. So this. So them run race. And the man who can run. And if him see some land over there. So we look like it can't have a whole team by now. Him run towards a piece. If him reach over there first. Him stick him thing in there. And say, yes, I my own this. If I let a man run and see where a river over there, so him say, boy, I want to go near the river, you know. Him go, so boof and run, go over there, so bloof him, stick him, tag that bloof, and my river this. Ignoring the original inhabitants of the land. So, 
these people who call themselves Israelis, who's mainly coming from Russia, because when you land in 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 in, in, in Israel, if you declare yourself Judah, from if you declare Judaism, you automatically become a citizen. All you have to say, well, right now, you give credence to Judaism, Moses, laws, this, that, that, you, you know, you, the Torah, this, that, all these things. You automatically become a citizen. So these people, run, come, left, where them coming from? Run, come in other the people, them, them come there, them see people there, and them just control the land. And every year, every little decade, them move the people, them, more and more out of them space. Then if you are moved the people them out of them space, what do you expect the people them to do? Them going to get vicious because this is them life. This is them family. And for years, and the history shows say you wasn't there. It's you come occupy the thing and talk about say you get it through some declaration rights and through some biblical verses and all these things. You have a right to it because... It's crazy world we're living in. Crazy, crazy world we're living in. It's so the story go. This is not me I make it up. This is the cutting edge. Connecting biblical story with modern days happenings. Talking about the Israeli and the Arab man. And talking about biblically Ishmaelites. Isaac, Esau, Jacob, and all the thing transfer itself and create a problem in the 21st century, 4,000 years after. Some guys just write down something 4,000 years ago, and now 4,000 years after, it become problematic. Yes. And the occupation of land is a continuous thing all over the world by most of the time is people are governments in the Western world that use them power to occupy people's space and manipulate them culture and them expression. Because most of the things that we know as African people get devoured in this in the power, the base. You know them say, Lord Acton in England say, power corrupt, absolute power corrupt, absolutely. And what we say right now, even at this time yeah, people have power, use them power absolutely and create devastation among so-called poorer people. In this case, it's so-called third world people. So all the things that we know as our indigenous culture, you know, with even we myself, look at all that thing like Wobia, voodoo, we, them have we and make songs against our indigenous culture. Black people, if you listen to a whole heap of them reggae songs, these reggae songs will grow up in a society where demonize our cultural expression. So voodoo and obia is, is, is anti-culture, anti-European culture. So, them have we are seen against it and are demonize it. Them have we attack against Wobia. Where them have we attack against voodoo and all the different practices. Them make the drum illegal one time. Them make key and ruin of ear illegal one time. Wobia still illegal. Bad word, still illegal. Ganja, still illegal. All of the things that will come from the masses of the people, them, in them indigenous way of life, them have we a fight against it. How the hell them, how, how, how them, how them get to do that? I mean, them don't put no microchip in our way. Them use psychological warfare. How them get to a fight against their own things? I mean, listen to the song them. Listen to the song them. You have people who are talking about 
dirty, nasty things. And them same one now will come fight against Obia and Voodoo. You have so called righteous people, Rasta. Who, oh, when them are saying them lick against African indigenous culture, and they even know, say, them are lick against African indigenous cultures. How them get with to do that? How them get with to fight against with self? Up to this day. That will look ourselves scornful, like all black. How them get with to call with self black? And then now internalize it and act against the color. How them get to do that? How them get black people to call themselves black people and then look on black as something terrible and sinful? Therefore, them who call themselves black people must know, say, them is terrible and dreadful. How them get to do that? That all, if you start to tell somebody, say, it's that happen, them say, a way at that what move, a foolishness at that. How them get black people fit talk against other black people who are say them get caught in a, the European mindset. How them get the other person who are listen to the person who are try bring them back to them Africanness. How them get the other person who are listen to this fit fight against the other person who are talk about it. Serious, serious thing. <laughs> 